Almost 70% of divorces are filed by women. As you what? know. Yeah. <laughs> are you really surprised? <laughs> As you know, I have been there, done that. It is not easy, but there is a way to do it and protect yourself and your kids. So please welcome family law attorney Morgan Stugsdale with secrets only a divorce attorney knows. I am dying to hear the secrets that only a divorce attorney. I should be leading this segment. Yeah, right. <laughs> Why is that number so high for, for women, you know, 70%? It, it, it's going up, which is shocking, right? Mm -hmm. I think women are, um, they're in careers a lot more, which has been different over the last 40 years. And they're being empowered. Uh, we, we've seen the Me Too movement, so mm -hmm. they're not afraid to pull the plug if things aren't working. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you have five tips for us, right? Yeah, I do. Five tips. Uh, the first one is limit your emotions in front of your children. Right. Hard. Exactly. Hard. But kids come number one. I know. So, you Still know. Still hard. Exactly. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to speak poorly about your spouse to your children in any regard. You also, you need to make sure that you don't lean on your children like they're your lawyer, your therapist, or your friend. They're kids. Mm -hmm. They need to be shielded from this process. It's so important. Yeah. Why is it important not to badmouth your spouse or your ex? Mm. For numerous reasons. Yeah. The first reason would be that the, the kids know. So a lot of people think, oh, my child's young. They don't know what's going on. They know what's going on, and they feel any tension in the house. So if you say something bad about dad, they're never going to forget what you said about dad, whether it comes out now or down the road. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, let's go with number two. Gather information before initiating your divorce process. What information? That's right. So it's amazing. You, you say the word divorce, and suddenly all the documents are missing in the house, right? The oh, passwords are changed. Oh, I see. Exactly. So what I say is before you even go down that road, talk to someone, talk to a lawyer, and then start taking photos photos on your iPhone, figuring out what passwords are. This is time to familiarize yourself with your finances if you're not up to date on that. Hmm. My, you know, my parents got divorced seven times between the two of them. So they're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, they're getting divorced again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it's sad, but it seems like you're divorce is more prevalent now. Is it more prevalent now than ever? You know, in the, over the last few years, the rates have been like 40 to 50% in 2018 of first marriages, but second marriages. It goes over to 70% on second Oh, really? Yes. Second wow. marriage, 70% yes. of divorces yeah. in second marriages? Yeah, it gets worse, too. Third, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. It does. I'm all right, done. all right. Let's get to the next one. Uh, just <laughs> put a fork in me already. <laughs> hey, you're taking your time here. You're fine. Well, just stay I engaged. Never get you're married again. You'll be all right. All right, here we go. Pick your battles. Yep. Uh, tell us what you mean by that. So what I mean by that is nobody would go to the store and pay 10 times the price of a couch, right? So why are you going to fight over a couch that's 10 years old? It doesn't it makes sense. So you got to treat your divorce like a financial transaction. Try to keep the emotions out of it so that you come out with the most that you could. Mm -hmm. Don't argue over needless property. All right. Yeah. Okay. And number four, look into alternative ways to handle your divorce. Like? Well, there could be mediation or okay. collaboration. There's a lot of ways that you can get through a divorce these days. However, number one, you always need a divorce lawyer no matter what route you go. So you shouldn't go pro se? <laughs> I would not recommend it. I think it's a bad idea. As, were you thinking about oh, that? Oh, okay, I need to explain. No, no, no. <laughs> I am not thinking about it. it at all. Um, but pro se is when you represent yourself. Got it. In court. And it's not a good idea because it can yeah. prolong the process because one side has an attorney, the other side doesn't have an attorney, and then it goes on and on and on and on 10 years later. We're hitting close to home That's over here. Right. All right, <laughs> communicate with your attorney. In the past, in the past. Jeff is fantastic. All right, communicate with your attorney. Uh, how so? Well, women, trust your gut. So if your gut is telling you something's wrong, it's likely true. So if something isn't sitting right, call your attorney. The worst thing you can do is keep your attorney out of the loop. We know it's costly to call your attorney, but if you don't do that, your case could be harmed and we may not be able to fix it. So if your gut is telling you something's wrong, it probably is, make that phone call. All right. There you go, some good tips. Some very good tips. All right, thank you, Morgan. Thank you thank so much. You.